you got your Bibles with you, let's go to the book of Luke. I'm going to give you a real simple story. Most of, most of you have already heard this story before. Uh, it's called the prodigal son, the lost son, whatever you want to call it. Most people call it the prodigal son. And it's a story about, about a young man who had everything. But apparently he was not happy enough. He left home. The man had two sons. And the younger of them was this one. And he told his father, Father, give me the, the portion of goods that falls to me. And the father being a good father, he did not argue with him. He went ahead and divided among them his living. And the Bible says that not many days afterwards, this young man took his journey into a far country. And there he wasted his substance with riotous living. That means that he was spending all the money, the hard-earned money that the father for so many years had accumulated. He spent them on prostitutes, on parties, on so-called good times. But how many of you know you only have friends when you got money? Well, it came to pass that this young man ran out of money. Se le cago el dinero. And he was forced to join himself to a citizen of that country. Because there was a great famine in the land. Había un hambre en la tierra. Y este joven tuvo que empezar a trabajar started working but he didn't exactly work in a good place the Bible says that he was working feeding swine he was in the hog pen he was taking care of the pigs feeding them and the Bible says that right there in that hog pen which is where a lot of people are right now the Bible says that then he came to himself and he said, how many hired servants of my father have bread enough and to spare? And I'm here dying of hunger. That's what the world has to offer. That's the kind of satisfaction the world gives us. And he says, I will arise and I will go back to my father. And I will say to my father, I have sinned before heaven and in your sight. And I'm no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. You see, a lot of times we have to... We have to come to the lowest point in our lives in order for us to really open our eyes and actually know where we're at. This young man had a good father. And because of his father, the Holy Spirit was also in that hog pain. And he opened his eyes. And the young man proposed in his heart. He said, I'm going back. I don't have to be here anymore. I've failed. I've tried it. And it's not working. I have somebody that loves me. I can go back where I came from. And the Bible says that this young man, he arose. He didn't stay there. He didn't try to find a way out. He knew there was only one way out. And that was to come back. So the Bible says that he arose. And he came back. How many of us. Would be willing to swallow our pride. And admit that we are wrong. 
You see our pride gets in our way. El orgullo se atraviesa. Y no, no nos permite arrepentirnos y admitir que estamos mal a veces. But this young man, he knew he was wrong. And he came back. Oh, but the, the best part of the story is yet to come. The Bible says that as, as this young man was coming back, that his father saw him afar off, a good ways off. His father was waiting for him to come back. God is waiting for you to come back. His dad was waiting. His dad represents God. And this young man represents us. But he has, we have strayed away from God. Represents you who are not saved here this morning. So his dad was watching. Every day he was there in his front porch. And looking and waiting for his son to come back. There's a there's a song that says he was there all the time. <coughs> Waiting patiently in line. That's God. God is patiently waiting in line until you're done playing in a hot pain. But God is walking back and forth in that front porch and looking yonder and seeing, looking for you to see when you're coming back. So the Bible says that as this man was approaching home, that the father, he ran to where he was. That's another song that says, when God ran, the Almighty Powerful, and the only time I ever saw Him run, is when He ran to me. So the Bible says that, that the Father ran to where this young man was. Can you imagine how He looked? Long hair, beard, Dirty, smelly, and his father ran. And the Bible says that he fell on him. And he hugged him and kissed him. And the young man began to speak. And he says, Father, I have sinned. See, that's the number one thing that you need to realize. If you want to come, come back to God, you've got to realize that you have to admit that you have sinned. This young man said, Father, I have sinned before heaven and in your sight. And I'm not worthy to be called your son. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been so low that you don't even feel like praying? That's a good spot to be. Have you felt so low that you don't want to even go to church? Because you feel you're too bad for church. That's a good spot. Except for the fact that you don't go to church. Well this man felt that way. And he told his father. I'm not worthy to be called your son anymore. But before he spoke the next, the next phrase. Which was about to be. Make me as one of your hired servants. The father interrupted. And he called his servants and he said, bring the fatted calf and let's kill it. For this my son was lost and he's found again. Joyce.